Okay, so let's watch me open up some plastic gauge. Sealed power plastic gauge. SPGR-1. Sam, Paul, Greg, Robert-1. The auto parts place will have it and nobody will be able to find it. It's behind the counter, hidden somewhere, usually way up high so it doesn't get damaged. They had to call some. The first place I went, they just looked at me like deer in headlights, so I left. Went to the second place, and they looked and looked, said it had two of them, they couldn't find it, so they called a the guy, and he said, ah, it's up by the timing stuff, blah, 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 on the back. Uh, so this is it. Inside of this are two different sets of plastic gauge for two different gap clearances. We're just going to use one of them. Um, let's let the video play and see what happens here, because I'm going to use one hand, and I'm going to open the stuff up. There you go. I'm opening it up, and it spills out, and we see that there's two different things in there. There, red and green. So we look at the green one and it says it's good for 001 to 003. That's the one we're going to use. How do I know that's the one that we're going to use? Because I went to multiple sources. Hunter over at um, Arc Racing, I said simply, if I just bolt this thing to the crankshaft, what do you think the measurement will be? And he said 0.002 to 0.003. He has printed directions to come with the rods. He says your target's zero, uh, 002. It should be no less than 015 and no more than 003. Over at Carrier Vanguard Performance, they said it should be 002, which agrees with what he says up here. And he says, though, they run 004 with thicker oil and more oil pressure, but we ain't doing that. Uh, the plastic gauge, uh, when you, uh, you know, look at it to figure out what it is, it'll always be under the real number by about 0004. So if it was 015, add 4 to that, I think. Is it that or that? I think it's, I think it's 4, because I know, like, 1, 2, 3, 1, yeah, okay, so it would be 019. Okay, if it says 015, yeah, so it's 004. Um, I got that from multiple sources that tested it with real professional equipment, and it was always recording a little bit less by about 0 .004. So anyhow, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for uh, 015 to 003, okay? Target is 002. So the stuff costs about 5 bucks, and half of it you're not going to use because it's the wrong specification stuff. We're going to use the green stuff only. And inside that thing for $2.50 is this little teeny tiny piece of plastic thread. And we're going to take um, you know, our connecting rod and lay it down there widthwise and cut off a piece that is the same width as the rod. Then we're going to wipe all the oil off the crankshaft and the rods. Okay, we won't, don't want any oil on there, and we're not going to rotate the rod. And we're going to lay that little piece of green stuff up there. And we're going to put the connecting rod down here. And we'll put the end cap up here. And we're going to try and get it so it's in the middle. And we're going to make sure we got everything stabilized so that rod's not moving while we're doing all that torquing and tightening with our little wrench. Then after we torque it all the way up to 170 again, we're going to uh, ease it off, open it up, take the screws out, remove all that stuff, and take a look at this little thing that happened here. Okay, It all got squashed, and that's what we're looking for. Now that's why we don't want to rotate the rod at all because it'll mess all this up. It's got to be stable. Then we're going to grab our professional measurement tool, the paper that came with the thing, and we're going to lay it over here and try and figure out how wide this thing is. And you can see it's kind of debatable how wide it is. It's uh, definitely not these two down here, uh, which would be like 025, I think. And uh, well, it tells you right here 02 and 03. So it's not 02 or 03. Um, but it's about right here to right here, you know, 015. And what did I say? It's always going to be uh, 004. Is it 004 or 0004? I think it's 0004 because it's going to be like 0019, okay, is what the actual measurement is. Let me go back and fix that here. Dun, 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 dun. It's going to be always 00. So 015, we want 004. Right? Isn't that right? 004? Oh, oh, it's 005. That's what's wrong. Hold on. Okay, so 002, 001, 0015. I got you. See, I got this screwed up. Hold on. Okay. And uh, so it's always 0004. 1, 2, 3, 4. So more than likely, this is really 0.0019. We're looking for two. It's probably two. It's no problem. I mean, heck, they're loose right now when they're on there. I got a little bit of wobble in them, so it's got to be good. But anyhow, this uh, it's probably just at two or just a tad under two. Um, so we're good to go. I mean, if it was zero 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 one five, I'd run it. That's fine. Uh, what does it say? Uh, no less than zero zero one five. No more than zero zero three. Okay. So if plastic gauge was perfect, okay. 
we're at 0015 because I measured it here. It's a little wider here. It's probably a lot wider here, okay? I just went to right here, so we're good to go with it. Um, yeah, if, if yours was uh, coming up as, you know, really wide, it got squashed a lot, or it's almost non-existent, almost the same size as it was to begin with, you got a problem, okay? But uh, right here, this is pretty good. So I'm satisfied, and I did this to both of them, but I'm only showing you one, because why do you need to see both of them? Just believe me, it worked. Um, so that's done. Uh, so the bearings are seated, they're gapped, and uh, we know the oil's gonna get in there and keep everything from burning up. Uh, so now I gotta put them back in there uh, well, I'll put the crankshaft in and then put the pistons loosely with no rings on the rods that I've just done all this to. Put them in there. And I'm not going to torque them down. I'm going to tighten them up and slowly spin this thing around and start checking for rod clearance on the inside of the block. So that's the next thing we got to do.